hi my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be unpacking my craft room. Let's get into it. So today's video is going to be kind of vlog style showing you the progress that I've made unpacking my craft room. As you can see I'm not completely done. That's because I have less storage area than I did before so I literally can't unpack everything. Um, I need to go through and organize and do some purging I guess. Uh, I don't want to but we'll see. But enjoy today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Give me a month or two and then I will do a tour video where I show um, exactly how I've organized everything, show my organization systems, show how I have everything set up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. Here is what we are starting with. So I've got the furniture in place. You can see the mess from the haul the other day. I've got a bunch of empty containers here. And then the majority of the boxes are actually over in this room. So I've got boxes here, bins and stuff. So they're not in really any particular order. I'm just gonna have to start from front to back and start unloading. The general idea is I wanna put fabric on this wall and then like non-fabric on this wall. Um, I wanna try and keep all my paper crafting stuff together. Um, before I had another unit, it was a five by five Calyx unit. I don't have that here. And like all the fabric is in the closet. So this is everything from the hall on the right hand side here. This is too deep. So this is gonna stay here until I've washed it. And then all the stuff on the left, this is what belongs on the shelves. So <sighs> I don't even know where to begin to be honest with you. All right, it's been a couple hours. Here's the progress I've made. Things are definitely not where they belong, but I'm just trying to get stuff out of boxes. Um, so I'm trying to keep like fabric on this side. I was putting paper crafting stuff on this side because I just moved this table out of the way, but the table's gonna go there. So these are gonna be less accessible. Empty containers here, just trying to get things out of the boxes because I've got all the boxes right here because I wanna make sure that the trash uh, gets picked up tomorrow morning. So I wanna get all of these out in the trash um, in the recycling uh, for tomorrow. Uh, so over here, now we have like accessible walkway. I'm keeping these boxes, so I'm not concerned about getting these empty. Plus this is like craft show stuff. So I'm not concerned about getting these um, open just yet. These are the boxes that are getting saved. And then these guys are bins. So this stuff, I feel like I can keep working on this so I can, you know, organize what's in here. I don't know if that all made sense, but that's what I've done so far. Saturday, February 4th. Here is the progress. I've completely gotten everything out. Surged, all this is surged so it can be washed. Next step is to organize this stuff so that I can unpack these boxes or bins. Saturday, February 11th update. I have moved everything into this corner here and into that corner. The desk is all cleared off. I ended up actually moving the desk like six inches that way because these drawers and these drawers, it was an issue here. So I scooched that over some. I'm not able to unpack these other boxes because I literally don't have enough storage for it. I used to have all of the same storage and then the five by five organizer, so I can't unpack it. And then this is all the fabric scraps. The cotton flannel is getting washed. This is what I've washed so far. And then my plan is for once I cut them up, I'm not cutting the whole bolt, the extra of the bolt can go in the empty bins to keep them clean. Tuesday, February 14th, last update. So this is the last of the cotton flannel that needed to be washed. It needs to be folded nicely. I just kind of have it roughly folded right now. Here are all the ones that I did fold nicely. Because my idea is if I folded it nice enough, then hopefully I don't have to iron it, which will save me a step because these are going to take absolutely forever to iron. But I need to refold the ones in the other room, add them to this pile, and start shopping. In the jar opener video that's going to come out at the end of the month, here's just a quick update of what I've done. So these need to be made, but I just finished all of these guys and I am working on this pile right here today 